but we're running out of gas. Like there's just, there's no more coming into that industry to help sustain them. Ruth Schmidt, the executive director of the Wisconsin Early Childhood Association, describes the state of daycare in Wisconsin as dire. If we don't have families that are actively using care, and if we do not have additional public support for care, the likelihood that we're going to see catastrophic losses in child care is pretty significant. With forced closures, capacity rules, and some parents not feeling comfortable sending their kids, the Wisconsin Department of Children and Families predicts between 15 and 25 percent of child care programs in the state will close permanently. So I think that 15 to 25 percent is probably pretty optimistic. I think if we do not have kids in care, those losses are going to be dramatically more than that. The National Association for the Education of Young Children paints a bleak picture saying at this rate in one year, more than 81 percent of child care programs across the country will close their doors forever, which will restrict parents ability to go to work, which will restrict businesses, uh, obviously their their ability to hire and retain staff. It will have implications with our K-12 system as we go into the fall. So lots of really concerning data. I'm Adrian Pedersen, WISN 12 News. Many Wisconsin child care providers received federal funds to help during the pandemic, but Schmidt says that money is dried up now. A couple of federal bills are being considered right now that would offer more help for child care. Toya, back over to you.